Welcome to Treon's Realm. Today we're going to take a look at the physical version of Cadence of Hyrule for the Nintendo Switch. Now what we have here is Nintendo's first partnership with an indie studio handling the Legend of Zelda franchise. And I've got to say that developer Brace Yourself Games knocked it out of the park. The game is a roguelite, and for each save file, you get a randomized experience each time, which gives this game infinite replayability. Now, it should be noted that while Crypto Necrodancer is quite difficult, especially with the fact that it requires you to keep beat with the movement, Cadence of Hyrule actually features an option that it seems like many gamers don't seem to know about. If you go into the options under gameplay, you will see a selection for fixed beat mode. If you switch that to yes, it'll shut off the need to sync up your movements with the musical beats. I would absolutely recommend starting with the standard beat mode on first. If you find it too difficult or you're rhythmically challenged like myself, the fixed beat mode will make the game far more playable and far more enjoyable. Now when it comes to the physical package, the game includes the base Cadence of Hyrule game as well as the Season Pass DLC content that came out earlier this year. This includes the character pack that features five new playable characters, the melody pack that gives you 39 additional tunes from three independent artists. This includes Family Jewels, A Rival, and Chipsel. I'm including links to their YouTube channels in the description down below, and I urge you to check out some of their music. And lastly for the DLC, we have Symphony of the Mask which is a brand new story that features the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. The game is currently at version 1.4.0 on the cartridge, and there are no additional patches needed. This means that the cart is future-proof. The game's file size clocks in at 1.6 gigabytes, meaning that it's on a 2 gigabyte cartridge. Another bonus with this game is it's not only a single-player game, it's a two-player co-op game. So much like Hyrule Warriors, if you have a buddy that you want to play through the game with, I'd highly recommend it. Now it should also be noted that if you're on the fence about the game and you haven't played it at all, there's a free demo on the Nintendo eShop and I urge anyone who's even remotely curious about this game to give it a try. Have you played Cadence of Hyrule? What did you think of it? Are you planning on getting the physical version? Please share in the comments down below. If this video helped you and you'd like to see more, Please subscribe and hit that like button. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.